Hello friends, in this video, let's clearly talk about how to download and restore AdventureWorks databases in the SQL Server 2022. What is the purpose of AdventureWorks actually? See, AdventureWorks designed by Microsoft to do the practice while learning. It covers many scenarios. Microsoft by default provide you the one OLTP database, I mean transactional database of AdventureWorks, which covers many scenarios and one data warehouse, so which covers data warehousing concepts and one lightweight database as well. These three databases helps us in learning a lot. It covers many scenarios data warehousing concepts or transactional databases, whatever the scenario you need to learn in the SQL Server, you can make use of these databases. So let me quickly show you how to download. And also Microsoft gives you for each and every version of SQL Server, it is giving a separate database for us. So if you see SQL Server 2016, Yes, Microsoft has separate 2016 databases of AdventureWorks. Similarly for 2019 as well. And similarly for 2022 as well. Now let me quickly show you how to download. So let's quickly go to the SQL Server. Uh, yeah, let's quickly go to the uh, uh, Google and let's search for the AdventureWorks 2016 and database. So let me quickly go there. Okay, so let's type it um, AdventureWorks for SQL Server 2022. So once you search it, like a first link, you get uh, Microsoft link only. Let's click on that. So once you click on it, so it redirects to a Microsoft website where you have AdventureWorks sample databases. I'll provide this link in the description section. So please make use of it to download the AdventureWorks database. The process is same even for SQL Server 2019, 2016 as well. In the same link, you will be getting the database backup files of AdventureWorks 2022, AdventureWorks 2019, 2017, 2016 and so on like this. So here if you see here OLTP, this is nothing but a transactional database. So data warehouse, this is nothing but a data warehousing uh, database and this is a lightweight one. So I downloaded both these two. So even you can try downloading this as well. So the download like just double once you click on it, it automatically downloads in the place where by default you choose it. Okay. So once it is downloaded, okay. So let's put in a folder where um, uh, you can restore from where you can restore. So these are the two files I downloaded here. As I mentioned earlier, the process is same even for 2016 or 2019 or whatever the SQL version. So based on your SQL copy, you can download uh, the adventure box. You have 2008, 2012, 2014 and 2016, 2017, 2019, 2022 as well. These many versions you have. So download based on your need. So once you download, so the files are available here. So let's come to the SQL Server Management Studio. This is my SQL Server 2022 version. You can see it. Okay. So I have other uh, SQL Server 2019 as well. So that is the reason why. I named my instance as SQL 2022. Okay. If you have only one version of SQL Server, then by default, you get that PC name by default. And here you can see the SQL Server uh, 16.0. It is nothing but a SQL Server 2022 version. This is the internal number managed by Microsoft for SQL version. Now here by default, I do get these many. Okay. Now it is my database server is empty actually. Now, so to restore the database do you need to create here you do not need to create you can directly restore it okay so if you already have a database then you want to restore on the top of it yes you can do that even so there's a checkbox you need to select uh, override the existing database but here i don't have any database okay to override it so i can directly go for it now simply right click on the databases and let's select the restore okay so once you select it now here so it is asking like, okay, either it's a database or device from where, from where you want to restore it. So I want to restore from a device because it is not there in the databases. Let's select the device. 
So once you select the device, so there is a, a box at the uh, very extreme right, there is a browse button, select that browse. So here, this is a place where you need to provide the location of the backup file. So here it is expecting a file or URL. Okay, let's provide the file. It is mine is a file only. It's a backup file. So you can restore only the files which are ending with extension of .bak. So let's, I have the same way. Let's quickly come here and select the location. So if you see, this is the location. F meeting SQL 2022 adventure works. So let me quickly select here, click on add. Okay, so let's me minimize this. F, okay, so let me quickly go here. F meeting SQL, F um, meeting, so SQL 2022 Adventure Works and select the database and click on OK. Now if you see here, this was the file selected here. So first I am trying to restore OLTP database that is nothing but Adventure Works 2022 dot back. Let's click on OK. So once you click on OK, here the destination is nothing but my server. So the name auto selects then whatever the name which has been there uh, for the backup file. And you can see here the last backup taken on 23rd May. It, it, it shows you some um, time information as well to what I, the backup has been taken. Okay. So now let's quickly come to the files. So where exactly do you want to go to the location? So you, you can select the location of the uh, data file as well as log file. Okay. So uh, it, it comes like a, this is the location of the, uh, the original file. Okay. From where uh, they have taken the backup and it is going to this location while restoring. You can change this path if you want. So ideally, uh, some of the times we take it, okay, uh, change the locations. Otherwise, in my personal PC, I'm okay to go for it. This is my personal PC. Now, let's come to the option here. So here, like if you are trying to restore on the top of existing database, then you need to select overwrite the existing database. But there is no database with the name of Adventure Works. I don't need to select. So the remaining options, I don't need to touch it. Okay. So let's quickly, once you are okay, okay. So let's uh, uh, come here and all once the backup file, you need to make sure that backup file is selected or not here. Okay. Once you, once you are okay, all you can see at the top, there is a ready option even. So let's click on. Okay. So based on the size of the backup file, it takes a, it takes time. So since my file size is only two, not four MB. Okay. It's very quickly. It restores very quickly. But if you really go to the same scenario in the real time, the backup itself, um, the restore itself takes maybe hour, two, three hours. It depends on the size of the file. Okay. Let's click on OK and let's just uh, refresh this. Yeah, you have a adventure works database. So which contains how many tables are there? Let us see. Okay. So rather than counting one by one. So let me quickly write select uh, star from sys dot tables. Okay. So if I type, if I execute this query, you can see here, there is many, these many tables are there, total 71 tables are there. And you can see at what time it has been created, at what time it's been modified and all. Okay. And what is the schema ID of it? So all the tables are not in a single schema. So it, it, these tables are scattered across multiple schemas. You can see it. Let me expand it. So if you see a one table is in DBO schema, the other table is in human resources schema, the other table is in person schema, something like this. This is how the tables are scattered across the schema. So now I restored the adventure works 2022. Similarly, I'll do it for adventure works, uh, DW 2022 as well. The process is same, simply click on restore. Okay. So, you know, like uh, you will be selecting the uh, device. Okay. So the path is, uh, F meeting. Okay. Now come to the, this one. Okay. S click on add. So you already know now. Okay. So you have, um, meeting, uh, SQL Server 2022 adventure works. Yeah, that's it. Select this. That's it. Okay. This is how. So now quickly the same way, like there is no change in the path of the log file as well as data file. Go to options. Even I don't want to change anything here as well. Let's click on OK. So it takes based on the size of the file, even the, this file is also very small. It automatically uh, completes in, in a fraction of seconds. All done now. I have this one as well. Now let me see how many tables are there in the DW 2022. I can simply see this select star from sys dot um, tables okay so now you see that these 31 tables are there you can see like um, all the tables are in single schema yeah if you see the schema is same maybe dbo schema so you can see what type of object it is and what time it's been created at what time has been modified okay so this is how you do you do uh, uh, download the uh, adventure of database and restore into the uh, the version of uh, sql server 2022 even like a uh, SQL Server 2022 has a forward compatibility 
of 2019 files as well. So you can restore 2019 files also in the SQL Server 2022 if you are not able to download the recent files from a Microsoft website. So thank you. I'll try. I'll, I'll keep that um, AdventureWorks database a URL in the description section. Let's try to download and restore it. So that's all about it. So if you have any questions, please drop your question in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you.